part one of a two-part Going Deep feature, CA Football visits the University of Richmond, where senior captain Jacob Pierce has come to embody the very definition of student-athlete, complementing his starting spot on the defensive line with a rigorous academic workload that includes studying for the LSAT, which he took during Richmond's Open Week this past week. Academics has always been extremely important for me. Um, early on, all my parents always emphasized you know, academics first, you know, sports second. But we have a tradition of being excellent in both academics and athletics. And Coming out of high school, I was definitely looking for a football program that had great academics, but also a great athletic program. And Richmond was just a combination, the best of both worlds. He really does um, embody what the university is looking for and what we're looking for. We always have the stereotype of some football player just being some jock who's not really into the uh, academic side of being a student athlete. And Jacob Pierce is a complete opposite. Jacob is majoring in leadership studies. He's also majoring in political science. And then he's also got a minor in environmental studies. He has definitely not taken the easy road at this institution. The leadership program is kind of a combination of philosophy, history, uh, economics, you know, so it's kind of takes a few different academic components and it combines it together. It's an amazing opportunity for one of our student athletes to be involved in our leadership program here at the university. Having some element of higher level of understanding about that I think does go a long way in allowing him to be a more prominent leader and captain. The political science leadership uh, program is kind of you know, a pre-law type of program that really led me to believe that I want to continue my academics further after undergraduate and pursue law school. He's really trying to make sure he is prepared for life after you are and making sure that he's going to get a job that is what he wants and he's prepared and, and doing well for himself. One of my overarching uh, kind of career goal is to one day go into politics, hopefully one day become a senator or congressman. He's got ambitions and goals after the season. He's uh, working and studying to take the LSATs. I mean, the prep course was fantastic. It was a, it was a Kaplan LSAT prep course that my parents and I believe would be the best opportunity for me to prepare for the LSAT, which I'll be taking in October, actually during our bye weekend uh, before we play James Madison. So it'll be a little hectic uh, that weekend. Being a full-time student in his final season and taking the LSAT, it's a huge demand. Um, but with his commitment and his work ethic, I think he's going to do great. It really helped me identify you know, techniques to, to use on the test, how to answer certain questions. I'm much more prepared than I would have if I did not take the class. But to take it on a bye week, it's very stressful to take the LSAT in the first place. But then to have these other commitments, um, it takes a special student to do that. My goal is just stay, stay the course, football and academics, really put my head down, um, focus on football, focus on studying uh, for the LSAT. He is extremely hardworking, very committed, not just to academics, not just to football, but to his future. We'll follow up with Jacob again in the weeks following his LSAT exam. Visit cafootball.com and cafootball.wordpress.com for upcoming Going Deep features and other on-campus coverage, which the league will present as it visits all 11 conference schools this fall.